Have you ever pondered over the power of unity and how it can transform societies? Today's narrative draws from the rich tapestry of Islamic history, where we find numerous examples of unity leading to strength. We dive into the era of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions, where the power of unity wasn't just a concept, but a way of life. The story begins in the city of Medina, shortly after the Prophet and his followers had migrated from Mecca. The Muslims were a minority, scattered among a larger non-Muslim population. They were economically weak and socially marginalized. Yet, the Prophet had a vision of a united community, a vision that he tirelessly worked towards. He initiated a brotherhood between the Muhajirun, the migrants from Mecca, and the Ansar, the natives of Medina. Despite their differences in culture, social status, and economic standing, they were bound in a bond of brotherhood that transcended these worldly differences. A shining example of this unity is the story of Abdul Rahman ibn Auf and Saad ibn Rabia. Saad, an Ansari, was paired with Abdul Rahman, a Muhajir. Saad offered Abdul Rahman half of his wealth and property, willing to split his life's earnings with a man he barely knew. But Abdul Rahman, demonstrating an equally powerful form of unity, declined the offer and asked only to be shown the way to the market. He didn't want to burden his brother, but instead sought to carve out his own destiny with the help of his newfound brotherhood. We can draw several lessons from this story. It teaches us the importance of unity, of coming together despite our differences. It shows us that unity isn't just about sharing resources, but also about empowering each other, about standing by each other in times of need. And most importantly, it shows us that unity is a powerful force, capable of transforming societies and individuals alike. In conclusion, the story of Abdul Rahman Ibn Auf and Saad Ibn Rabia is a testament to the power of unity. It is a lesson from Islamic history that still holds relevance today. The unity between the Muhajirun and the Ansar wasn't just a social contract, but a bond of brotherhood, a commitment to uplift each other, to stand by each other, and to work together for the betterment of their community. This unity was their strength, their shield against adversity, their pathway to prosperity. It was a unity that transcended economic differences, cultural differences, and social statuses. A unity that was rooted in the teachings of Islam. So, if we ever find ourselves pondering over the power of unity, let the story of Abdul Rahman and Saad serve as a reminder of its transformative potential. It's a lesson from the past for the present and for the future. A lesson that unity is not just about being together, but about rising together.